Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Bash. Um, a lot of people have asked me how I record using a Pog HD PVR and Mac OS X. I figured I'd do a little tutorial for you guys just to show you how easy it is um, from start to finish. So from when I record a video all the way up to when I upload it to YouTube. So let's just go ahead and start. Um, first off, when I bought my Hapag HD PVR, they told me that there was no program on them that was compatible with the Mac that I could use to record. Um, I did a little bit of research myself because I didn't really believe them, and I found one called Elgato ITV. You gotta buy this, it costs money, but it's well worth it. It's a good program, and I'll explain these three windows right here. This is the input window. Basically, whatever is going on on my Xbox and my television um, will happen right here in the input window. The problem is, um, many people think, you know, I thought I could use this as my main screen. You know, if I ever want to watch television on my TV, I can set it, you know, to my television, and I can just maximize this screen right here and use it to play my games. I actually can't because this is about four seconds behind, which really just is way too much of delay. You don't see something until four seconds after it's actually happened. So, I mean, it's, it, it's not possible. You really can't do it. One cool thing about this program is, if something happened about 20 minutes ago, I can go back to that point in time and record. That is good for up to three minutes. That means that I'll never have to worry about always having to have my um, you know, PVR recording. I don't have to have that pressure on me. It doesn't hog all my resources and I won't have clutter of all these videos that I don't want just because I was forced to record. Uh, just in case something cool happened. Because if something cool happens, I can always just go back and get it, which is really cool. Um, this right here is the ITV programs window. Um, these are previous um, recordings that I have. As you can see right here, just some old COD 4 that I was playing and I recorded it. So, I mean, you can kind of view it, delete it if you don't want it, leave it here if you want it, export it if you want it. This right here I call the record button. It's a full control panel, has a bunch of buttons, but the only one I've ever used is record, the only one you'll ever really need to use is record. So let's just hit record right now. You can tell it's recording because it's now tinted red and it also says recording right here. I'll move my controller around a little bit so something's actually happening and we'll just hit record to stop it. Um, we can view the video just by double clicking it and viewing it and see what's going on. When we're happy with that, we can simply export that. And the default format is MP4, and uh, I've never changed it from MP4. I've actually never changed any of the default settings in ITV. It, they're great and they're, they're pretty straightforward and simple. So let's move over to iMovie, which is probably the easiest um, movie making software I've ever encountered. So I just go to File, Import, Movies, and I select the movie or movies that I want. In this case, only one. Um, while that happens, I'll show you guys Audacity, which is the program that I use to record my audio. Um, it's a pretty straightforward program. I know a lot of people use this. It's free. It's great. It gets the job done. All you got to do is hit record, and it'll record everything that you're saying, uh, as long as you have a mic. Um, you hit stop when you're done, when you don't, when you uh, you know you're finished, and you can export it in WAV format or MP3 format. In this case, we don't need it since I already have like a sample ready for this video. But uh, that's pretty much it. Now, for a full COD 10-minute gameplay, it'll take about. Um, I'll just mute this so there's no crazy sound pops up. Um, it'll take about 10 minutes to actually um, import, which seems like a lot of time, and it is a lot of time, but um, you know what? This program is so easy that's worth it. So this was a full 9 seconds, but say we only want 4.8 seconds. We can select those 4.8 seconds, drag them in. Um, now, if we want a little title at the end, like I always have uh, a title, we can kind of just drag and drop your title right there. Type in whatever you want right here. I mean, as you can see, this is idiot proof. A child can do this. And now, so we don't have this abrupt, like, blackness. It just goes, blackness. That, that's what happens. It says blackness as you go into it. Now. But um, I use a little cross dissolve so that it um, transitions in nicely. And, uh, you know, we can watch the video by pressing play. And it'll go through. And I guess I wasn't doing anything, so nothing happens. But there you go. Simple as that. It's really easy. There's nothing hard about it, and when we're happy with it, we go share, export movie. Oh, actually, sorry, I forgot to show you how to how to import sound. This is about as easy as it gets. When I have my gameplay here and I have my commentary that matches that gameplay, I just drag and drop. That's all it takes. It is real simple. And now we just go share, export movie in HD, because this is an HD recording, and we export. Um, for Now, once again, for a 10-minute commentary, it'll take about 30 minutes to export. In this case, it says it's going to take less than a minute. It is pretty quick. Um, now, let me just tell you guys, I used to use Final Cut Express. Um, I can use Final Cut Express. I'm not an idiot. 
Um, but the thing about Final Cut Express is it's a lot more advanced than iMovie. And in using Final Cut Express, you're making things a lot more complicated than you need to. iMovie gets the job done, and you guys saw how simple that was. It took me about less than a minute to get that all, done, all together. So uh, we just now let's just go to YouTube, and we can upload this bad boy. Let's click on Upload. Upload video and tutorial.mov. That's the movie right there. It'll start uploading. And, um, you know, name it whatever you want. Add the description, add the tags, select your category. I want to make it private and save those changes so that it doesn't flood your uh, subscription box. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much how I get things done in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. And um, if you want to see anything else done, let me know. And I'll try to get that to you. All right, peace.